Good morning, guys. This is Carrie Reinhart with 5-Minute Math. Today, I'm going to look at word problems with algebraic expressions. This is Lesson 7 from Algebra 1, Unit 1, if you're following along in the book. So what we're doing is we're given a sentence or a phrase, and we need to convert it into an algebraic expression. First thing you need to understand is some words that represent different operations. And an operation is if you're adding or subtracting, multiplying, dividing, those kind of things. So just be aware of there are several words for addition. There are several words for subtraction, etc. But some of the main ones for addition are sum, obviously add, more than, total, okay, and the list can go on and on. And then for subtraction, obviously subtract, less than, difference is a big one, and less than, or just let's say less for now. We'll talk about than later. Okay, ignore the than for now. We also have multiplication, so product is a big one. Okay, double, twice, okay. times, division, obviously divide, but quotient is one, is a big one you'll see. Divided by, and again, there's many more, but these are some of the main ones. You also need to look out for the word of. If you see the word of, that means you need to put the values after it, the next two, or it sometimes can be more than two, but usually the next two values, numbers or letters, after it in parentheses, and the operation before the of will go in between. And I'll show you an example of that. You also need to look out for the word than. Okay, this is a switch word. This means you're gonna switch the numbers and variables or variables that are on each side of the operation. And I will show you one of these as well. So let's look at some examples. All right, let's do a number plus four. I like to diagram with different colors. So a number represents some value that I don't, I don't know what the value is, but it's a variable. So I usually let X represent the unknown value. You can use any letter, but I just like to use X. Plus is an operation. So I'm gonna put an addition sign there. And then four is just the number four. There's nothing else going on here. There's no switch words, there's no grouping words. So we can just write it exactly as it is, x plus 4. x plus 4 is a number plus 4. Okay, let's do one that's a little bit more complicated. Let's do 15 less than a number. Okay, again, I'm going to diagram. 15 is just a number, so it's the number 15. Then we have less, which is the operation, and that operation is subtraction, so I'm going to put a minus sign there. Than is a switch word, so I'm going to have to switch the values that are on each side of that subtraction sign. I'll do that in just a second. And then we also have a number, which is some unknown variable, so I'm just going to put x there. Right now it looks like we would do 15 minus x, but because of that switch, I need to switch the values on each side of the subtraction sign. So I need to sub switch the 15 and the x, which gives me x minus 15, which is your final answer, and that represents 15 less than a number. Okay, I'm going to do one more. And again, if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause. Okay, let's do twice the difference of two numbers. Twice the difference of two numbers. Okay, twice is an operation, it means you're gonna multiply by two. So I'm gonna write two times 
You could put dx for times, but since I use x for my variable, I try not to do that. The difference represents an operation of subtraction. I'm going to just put a subtraction sign there. Of is a grouping word. Okay, and remember I said with of, any the two values, usually two values after the of, need to go in parentheses. So I'm going to put parentheses around two numbers because those come right after the of. It means I need to group them. And I will also have to take the operation before the of and put it in between the values in parentheses. Okay, and then we also have two numbers. Well, two numbers represents two unknowns, and I don't know what those are, but we can let them be x and y. You can let them be any two variables. So we've got two times, and then we've got to take that subtraction sign and put it inside the parentheses between the x and the y. So I've got two times, and then I've got the group with x and y in it. And because of that grouping term, I have to take the operation before the of, which is minus, and put it between these two values. And we can write that without that multiplication symbol because two right next to a parentheses means multiplication.